Welcome back fans. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to learn coding in 2024. And within the video, I'm also going to tell you three problems that you have to avoid in order for you to get a job in a space of six months after learning. So let's get started. First and foremost, before you decide to start learning how to code, there has to be a reason why. Maybe you want to use it to get a job or even build your own personal software at the end of the day. For whatever personal reason that you have, it doesn't really hide the fact that technology advancement is at its peak right now and there is high demand for coding skills. As a new programmer, one of the first decisions you have to make is deciding on which programming language you want to learn. And you have to also consider things around what is the demand of that programming language on the marketplace and employers seeking for who has that skill. Also, you have to consider things around how easy is that programming language to learn. Is this something that has a very high entry barrier or is this something you can quickly set up and start using. You also have to consider the applications of this programming language in multiple domains. And when you look at most of these things that I listed out, you can see that there are two languages that are probably suggest for you to learn. Either you choose JavaScript or Python. Personally, for me, I would suggest you choose JavaScript. It has a lot of application. You could use it to build mobile apps, you could use it to build APIs, you could use it to build websites, as well as desktop app. So you can see that it has so many application cases and it's also on high demand at the moment. Now that we have gotten what to learn out of the way, let's talk about how to learn. There are so many online learning platforms out there. You can go through YouTube to watch YouTube tutorials. You can also learn from Udemy or Audacity or Code Academy. And also you have the option of boot camps, right? And this is what I will suggest for you as a beginner. If you're trying to learn, try to learn from someone who is already coding. Either you go to a bootcamp that happens live or online. The reason why I suggest bootcamp is that you have direct access to the instructors. When you're learning from a Udemy course, most times when you reach out to the instructors, they don't reply instantly and this can slow you down. But for someone who is directly learning from a bootcamp or an instructor, online or offline, the instructor gives a feedback ASAP. And that is something that you have to really consider. Another important thing about boot camps is you don't just get taught how to code. Most of the time, they also give you a lot of important advice in terms of how to navigate around the tech space. Going through a direct instructor through a boot camp, online or offline, is the best and the fastest way I would suggest for you. This also brings me to the first problem you have to avoid as a beginner, which is going into the learning loop where you're learning and learning and learning without spending enough time building. So you have to avoid this thing because it creates this illusion that you're doing something, you're progressing, but the real truth is that you're not. Avoid it and try as much as possible to build things with what you have learned. The next thing for you is what you have to build. Most times, most people end up building things like it to do application. Now, don't get me wrong, it is nice, but it to do application is always cool when you're trying just to build for yourself and learn. But when it comes to building something that is going to convince an employer to employ you, right? You have to look at bigger stuffs, right? You have to build things like an e-commerce. Building an e-commerce will really give you a very practical knowledge about a lot of things. You don't necessarily have to build out every feature of the application and build the basic things, but understanding how the application works and being able to like structure it completely would help you go faster and land a very nice role for yourself. Another way to learn is also by joining a community that motivates you and pushes you to learn. One mistake I notice people make is that when they join a community, they don't participate actively in that community. When you join a community, introduce yourself, put it out there that you, you're looking for a job, right? Put it out there that you have this certain level of skill. And if there's any opening that matches that skill, you're willing to take it then make sure you participate actively in anything the community is doing, right? With this, people always tend to notice you and will always help you whenever they see opportunities that match what you're looking for. You also need to stay up to date in the new trends and new technology advancements that are coming up. You have to be knowledgeable about how it can impact your learning, right? Because with tools that exist today, you don't have to spend so much time in terms of learning certain things, right? You could easily use platforms like ChatGPT to access certain type of question. You don't have to do a lot of research. 
getting accustomed to these new tools will not just make your learning faster it will also help you when you start building things and working for other platforms that brings me to the third problem that i think people have to avoid this fear that the tools that exist to affect you as a developer or would even take your job away from you right i personally don't think so and i think you should always try to avoid that kind of thought being able to use these tools is what you have to pay more attention to right either way it is still going to shape the way we do things as programmers but it's not necessarily going to take away our jobs completely because we are the ones that are building tools like this all right fans i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button in order for you to get videos like this whenever i upload that being said have a nice day